The next part of the demo now is to look at um, a synchronization demonstration. So this is so basically what we've been looking at so far is is um, excuse me. What we've been looking at so far is just reading and writing data from Small World using the Spatial Biz plugin. SPS also market a uh, an Oracle Spatial plugin um, that has some very specific capabilities built into it to support synchronization uh, of data with with Small World. So, in this case, I'm just showing one side of the equation: the Spatial Biz reading and writing into Oracle Spatial. So I'll highlight some of the attributes associated with the spatial biz side. So we've got some hotels, roads, and parks that are going to be synchronized with Oracle. Um, my connection information associated. Uh, I can specify the alternative, which is my synchronization alternative here, the sync demo. I have a checkpoint of sync, and I am synchronizing is set to yes. What that means is every time I press the button, it will go off and it will find no changes because it's basically looking to see if changes have occurred since the last time it ran. If I run it again, it should find no changes again. I can specify other information in here as well. Um, but basically, coming down to the Oracle Spatial side, this tells me that the, the Java, the JDBC connection it's going to use, the spatial reference system, this is British National Grid for storing the data in. So working with the Spatial Biz plugin, it's, it's taken any of the source data from the small world database, which is in a millimeter coordinate, a millimeter unit system, and it's projecting it automatically on the fly into a standard EPSG SRID um, reference system. So it's in a either in a feet or a, or a meters coordinate system that can be then used by Oracle Spatial directly, by FME, by any other GIS type tool. So in our case here, we're using uh, British National Grid meters. So here's the 27700, which is that uh, SRID for that. We can also define a series of procedures, start and end procedures, post-transaction procedures, which are very useful for recording um, additional information like the history of the changes that have occurred. Uh, we've recently done an example where we do uh, the types of changes down to the actual attribute level. We can actually record the fact that on this synchronization run that occurred on this day, this attribute of this object was changed from this to that. We can go down to a very, very detailed level of metadata that can be used to track and trace how changes are occurring within your Oracle Spatial Database. In addition, we are using a network, um, uh, an Oracle Spatial Network, so we're using the, the Oracle Spatial Network model um, to store the network information, and I'll show that uh, in just a minute as we kind of go through and we run some processes. So what I'm going to do now is actually go into my small world system. Okay, so here's uh, my GIS view onto uh, this Oracle spatial data, onto this small world database, sorry. I'll click on the versions, just make sure I'm in the right demo. I'm in the sync demo alternative, which is what I'm showing. Okay, so if I go ahead and I select an object, I'll select this playing field here. And I am going to clear the trail, and I'm going to create a new representation of it. So update the geometry. I'll also select this annotation here and change that from Cambridge City to Cambridge Town. So it's a physical attribute change and a spatial attribute change on the same table, but I mean, basically, it'll, it'll work on the others as well. So go off and save those changes. So normally, obviously, I wouldn't work in the actual sync demo alternative. I'm doing it for, for uh, just for demonstration purposes here. Typically, you'd work within your design alternatives or your other engineering alternatives. And as the data merges and posts around the small world version management hierarchy, at some point, it will get into the synchronization synchronizing alternative, at which point it will then be eligible to be sent over to Small World. So here it is. It's now in sync demo, ready to go. So if I go back to my workspace over here, I can now press the synchronization button, and it will go and it will check and see what has changed in the source database, pull out those features, and in this case, there's only two parts that changed, and it's written the data over into um, Oracle Spatial. So I actually have, from a visualization perspective, and that's obviously the hardest part of a lot of the, the things we do, 
I use SQL Developer a lot to just show that capability, and I've zoomed into the area already. It's all ready to go now. All I have to do is refresh, and we should see the playing field boundary here change, and the name of this, this label should change as well. We're using just a special reference 27700. I have other ones available for other projects I'm working on as well. But basically, you see that the boundary changed and the uh, name changed to Cambridge Town at that point. So that information has now been sent over and the changes have been made. They're represented uh, within the Oracle spatial environment. On top of the, um, uh, the spatial changes and the physical representations that you see here, I also want to show you um, some of the topology tables as well, just, just for representation, just so you know what's going on. So it's within this database here. If I scroll down to the road network, this, uh, the, the roads and the hotels here all, all, all form a, a network path on, the, on the, the actual road network. So I have the road links here. If I look at the data, I can see the link IDs, and these are the link IDs that came from Small World, start node, end node, plus the geometry associated with it. If I scroll across, I can have, see additional information, like the cost, which is in this case is the, the length of the road in the local coordinate system, I believe, and then things like the feature ID and the road type, uh, just additional metadata or, or attribute information that we want to pull out to help the representation. In addition, we also have the nodes as well, so we can see the individual nodes and their representation if they're associated with a point feature in this case. And then finally, um, the Oracle Spatial plugin will also build this reference table here. And so this is an extension to the Oracle network model that allows us to indicate that small world features, or Oracle features rather, are associated with topological elements, uh, links and nodes, and potentially polygons as well, within the manifold network. So having this kind of reference table there that allows us to say these features are associated with these links and these nodes means that we can use the Oracle Spatial Network Modeling Tracing operations, which are very comprehensive, and then we can use constraints, which is a standard extension to that uh, network modeling environment, to leverage and access at attribute information from the uh, associated road, in this case, or main, or primary conductor, or switches, or valves, etc., to determine whether or not a trace is actually open, the path is open, uh, whether the the road can be navigated because it's in the right direction, whether the primary conductor is part of the same circuit that you wish to trace to identify. So basically we can actually, because of this reference table, we can link across and we have a number of very comprehensive examples of actually how to do that. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of writing, or no, sorry, using the, the spatial uh, SWSync um, and, and how we can bring data across. As I said, uh, we would have an equivalent database or equivalent workspace rather that would bring the data back from Oracle Spatial to the other direction. When we're pulling data from Small World, from Oracle and reading it into Small World, we would either use the network, um, Oracle Workspace Manager, sorry, to determine change on the, on the Oracle site, or we could use triggers, which is a very commonly used approach to determine that change has occurred within the Oracle Spatial tables. 